Hi, welcome back to the channel, Antoinette here. It's October wrap up time for 2024. Let's take a look at what went into the journals, um, what decks we used, and there are a few. There's no rhyme or reason to what I use this year, this season, um, but there's lots and quite a bit went on. So we start with the Moon Diary for my daily pulls. Um, for those who didn't spot, the new one is out and I have it. And I have done a walkthrough of this. So if you want to see what's in this, Fabulous diary. Um, I always land on this page. It's amazing. The Halloween section. Um, so we have soul cakes in next year's diary for the recipe. But there are just a quick peek into what's coming on in there. But it's very, um, very witchy. Very, very witchy this year. Or next year, should I say. Um, I can't wait. So. The October. Look at all the lines. <laughs> it happened again. <laughs> I just ran out of, I don't know, pizzazz, oomph, um, wasn't feeling it. So you got all my lines for everything that I kind of didn't do. Um, it was just really interesting. Like the focus really is sort of here in this period. Um, life just felt um, busy, discombobulated, uninspiring. And like a lot was going on, but not really a lot was going on. It was really weird. So we have the marigold for our flower for this month. And we have gemstones here with the planet tree, um, stone being the sapphire um, for September. And I continued with what I was doing previously using a rune um, as I started the month. And then that quickly disappeared as my practice just like fell out window. Um, so... Yes, yeah, so I have my runes in the side from my witch's runes. I didn't bring them through this time. And I was using um, the Unfinished Business Tarot deck. So Unfinished Business goes at the top. And then I had Seasons of the Witch or Earth and Bone um, were the decks I was using. So I started off, I think, Pumpkin. Can't tell you what deck that was from, but we have Pumpkin. Um, Intuition and Elements. That might be Earth and Bone. And I've got the information about that one. Here I've got two um, oracle decks. We have Shelter and Guidance. That's probably one from each. And again here, Apprentice, um, Distrust and Brain. So um, two decks. So it's got to here. And then, oh yeah, there we go. Look, stressed, I need sleep, feeling awful. So look, there was a solar storm. That's it. Jupiter went into retrograde. <laughs> and that hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, wasn't really expecting much from that one, but... I did. And um, Pluto went direct. And then we had like various other things happening, as you can see. Uh, I've just written here, look, please be better. I mean, that is generally telling you the story of how it was going for me. Um, and one last bash with the runes. And then we just moved into me using then at this point, any decks I felt like I wanted. And I was just mixing and matching the oracles. So I had nothing and nothing here. I've got two, three. Three oracles, hell no. Like, honestly, this just gives you that feeling, doesn't it? <laughs> Not on your Nelly. <laughs> I think what I've written in here is probably more entertaining than the actual fact that I have a practice and look what I'm doing with it. Um, I had loads of jumpers come out on 31st. That was quite amazing. I was just trying to shuffle and just loads kept flying out of the deck. So um, I think I saw in a chat on somebody's YouTube chat on one of their lives, um, a member in the community just kind of said, like, so many jumpers, it feels like the spirits are trying to talk to me. Um, so I've just kind of taken it so I've noted them all in here. And they did make sense. They did definitely make sense to what was going on. Um, swapped up here, I've got Momentum Mori, Season of Witch, Macabre, Tarot was what I was going to try and use all the way through, but I didn't. I'm well aware that that all changed as well. We have this gorgeous pages about Halloween. Um, what do we have here? So colours... Colours to work with. So we've got black, orange, purple, deep red. We've got crystals, obsidian, smoky quartz of amethyst, herbs, pumpkins and apples. Very popular. Sage, we know. Mugwort. Very good. Symbols. We have jack-o'-lanterns, cauldrons, skeletons and ravens. Magical intentions, ancestral magic, divination rit rituals. We have protection spells, shadow work, honouring rituals and some more information there. And then we have this gorgeous um, barn brack bread recipe that's been popped in here to cook for this one. 
Um, I have actually written some stuff down, look. And my wish list started to get longer. Um, one deck's come in. Patrick Glenn's Oracle's arrived. The rest I'm still waiting on. And then we're into November. Two months left in this gorgeous diary and then I can start dismantling it to begin collating all the pages together of the previous ones I own. And into my A5. Oh, it sounds so lame to be um, unclear where my practice is, but that's just how it is. That's how the cookie crumbled this year, October. There we go. I don't think I've done my reflections yet. Um, okay, so October. My word is sustainability and experience. I don't think the word sustainability really came into this month. I think probably experience was the word of the month. Um, but yeah, lots went on. So I've listed, as you can see, loads of decks here. Skeleton Tarot, Macabre Tarot, Madame Wilhelmina Tarot, the Sawain Tarot, Deadly Apothecary, Unfinished Business Tarot, Lilith and the Machine, Crooked Ways, Trick or Treat, Earth and Bone, Modern Tarot Reader. So I've used all of those um, this season. So we have um, week one. Yes, I did. This one's in on point. So coming in from the 30th of September to the 4th of October, I've gone with release, let go and prepare. I have put my keywords there, but I haven't written much about it. So here we've got the um, Modern Wilhelmina with the Earth and Bone Oracle. And one, I think it was just one actually. I think I just took the one card for the Oracle and then wrote about it there. And as you can see here for my reflection, I pulled a card. Um, which was the Dark Moon from the Seasons of the Witch deck. So there's my Dark Moon, and I just pulled some cards, um, like dropped down around it, and did a like, little kind of review on that. So, um, yes. <laughs> Maintain hope. What have I written here? It was needed a new moon, a micro moon. The world went nuts on Wednesday. <laughs> Absolutely crazy behaviours from everyone, including myself. I think, yeah, I do remember feeling a little bit... Um, like totally out of sorts and yeah definitely in that lunar cycle <laughs> if you want to call it that um I don't even think I wanted to be around myself again it was so weird but there we go um, and I think you'll find that when my when we talk a bit later on like a lot of my spreads have been calling me out on stuff I've already been talking about for the last um I don't know since July so yeah <laughs> it's there uh, so I missed that week out completely. Look, I've let, I've, I drew it up ready to go. And I just didn't do it. <laughs> um, I came back in on the 14th to the 18th and went with Embrace Challenge and Focus to Achieve. Again, sustainable experiences, but I can't say there's many experiences this month that were sustainable. Um, and my Oracle, and then I didn't bother with reflections because it was not happening. I did do a rotten apple spread. This one is from the Seasons of the Witch Samhain spread. Um, I used Tarot of Vampires and the Oracle to do this one. So No, I didn't. I just used the spread from the Oracle and the Vampire deck. Um, so this one had... What do I need to be aware of right now? What can I do to protect myself from the energy? What is the lesson in this situation? Um, and additional advice. And then five is the outcome. So outcome, additional advice. And then those are my first three questions there. Um, so just a little, the rotten apple spread. That's quite good, actually. Um, my week ahead, so coming into the last week of October, 28th to the 1st of November, um, I have used Claire Goodchild... Modern Tarot Reader, Earth and Bone, and Deadly Apothecary Oracles. And I haven't done my reflection, so I'll be doing that later today or tomorrow. Um, hopefully as I set up for November, because I don't even think I've set up. Yeah, look, I haven't even done November's pages. <laughs> um, it's, it's all good. But for this week, what do I need to be aware of? What is the lesson in this situation? Embrace this. And then um, release this. So something to think about and um, from the additional advice of the oracles I've got one two three four cards 
we've got here we've got you roots beloved and nest so um that's very useful doesn't tell i haven't written down which decks from what uh, well i've got the words that's the most important thing i've never written here experience is born out of becoming sustainable is this current experience sustainable is it healthy or do you need to seek a different path, a more sustainable experience for the body, mind and soul, basically? And then, yeah, I need to do my wrap-ups there. So um, this one's done quite well. Doing just the weeklies, this little diary has got the whole year in it. And I've still got more than enough. I'll probably do another four months, to be honest, the way that the my paper practice is going. So um, if anyone's wondering will they get a whole year in these, if you're doing it like mine, yeah with a front page, a reflections page, and then just um, a page per week, two pages, so, you know, a double page spread per week. One of these will do you quite nicely for the whole year. Uh, I think it's like six quid from Amazon, 12 pounds for pack two. So that's really nice. Then the journals of the digital mind come into play. Oh, just uh, orientate my screen, talk amongst yourselves. Okay. So we're here. Um, we'll start with the tarot journal. Bring it down a little bit so you can see. Right, books. How not to be a supermodel um, audio. Finished that one. The hollow places on audio. Still listening to that one. Um, I know Madwitch really, really enjoyed that. I'm finding that one hard to get into personally. Um, no, that's not true. The hollow places, I found exceptionally slow and actually stopped listening to and deleted. There's another one that Madwitch listened to, which I am currently listening to on audio. But again, I am finding that one a little bit slow. But um, I believe as it gets going, it um, livens up a bit more. But I can't remember what it's called. She mentioned it in her last video for her audio books, her book nook two or something. Um, decks, I started listing decks and um, that basically there were so many I haven't bothered um, from a TV perspective, I did watch that film Tarot. Um, I watched Tropic Thunder because <laughs> it's such an old one <laughs> um, and silly. Uh, I have been watching Agatha all along. I am up to speed now. So I know about the tarot spread that everyone's been doing. Um, so I know, I think Benabel Wen sent out to people on her email list, the spread created. And I have seen... Miss Kulala's Mystical Musings do that spread as a collective reading. And that was really interesting to watch. So I do plan on um, making notes of that spread and maybe, maybe trying it out this month. Who knows? Um, I've been watching Rivals. That's saucy. OK, the book was always saucy. That is saucy. Um, I don't know if I like it. I don't know what to say. The characters they've cast really don't do it for me they they aren't the, like Rupert Campbell Black is not the Rupert Campbell Black suave person from the book in my head the person on tv is somebody I'd like to slap around the face with a wet fish <laughs> I don't know what to say that sounds really harsh I watched Hocus Pocus 2 that was amazing um Loki the series because hmm I just like the character, the main character. <laughs> and um, I've been watching, re-watching Revenge. I really liked that series when it first came out. So I've just been like kind of re-watching that. Um, and there was something else that I was binge watching like right the way through too. Anyway, so that's where I've got to. So my October pages are fairly sparse. Um, I've done VRs. So I did the VR to the Halloween party decks for Tara Rich Witchery. That one was really um Kind of thought provoking got me going and i did mine in the theme of halloween party decks but it was one that you could do with any deck really it didn't have to be spooky decks but i chose specifically to pull out from that section because why not i have so many um vr for dark academia decks to tarot deep tarot geek um i've done the vr to the chakra series for amethyst ascension i finished up i did the crown chakra and then i did the one at the start very beginning of the month and then at the very end of the month i did the entire chakra system reading just to see um what else is going on and that's the one that called out <laughs> my season of life again 
Um, but as I said, I back in July and August, I was reading um, books by Davina McCall and other people and watching YouTube videos um, on perimenopause, menopause and things for girls, ladies coming into that sort of age of life, experiencing certain things, because I do believe that we have to be forewarned in order to be better informed because the medical profession isn't doing it for us. Um, so I think that there are things that we can all look out for and do and we'll all approach it differently, which is what's amazing. And it's just nice to see all the different approaches as well, sharing and it not being this taboo subject that nobody talks about. And um, because I was talking with um, Rochelle at Amethyst Ascension, I think it's back in July. And I just said, you know, I wasn't really into making videos because word finding and things was becoming a bit ridiculous. And I didn't want to have these long pauses and sound like I don't know what I'm talking about and trying to find words on camera. And actually, she was like, do you know what? Some people get that, that why are we embarrassed about it? And that was it. That was the empowering moment of why Why should I be, actually? Let me come back and make my videos and um, share some of the stuff I have with you because you might be going through the same thing. So it brought me back to my reality, got the ego off my shoulders. Um, and as you know, I share my journals. So what's in them is what I will share with you. Like I can't hide what's in them. So I don't have a separate journal just to show you this is real life. This is you know real for me. So you get what I have, um, which you might not all like, but you know, there we go. Um, so that was that. And uh, what else have we done? Oh, yes. Kim Abundant Life Tarot did a live um, and the live chat was what is my deck collecting philosophy and she did like 10 questions he went through questions aren't them pulling cards from your own deck to see what comes out it's quite fun so I, I've done that one um, and what else we've got here oh yes how can I forget wow Seasons of the Witch 2024 is live and running. So it is now the 2nd of November as I'm filming this. So 1st November has passed. It is the new moon. We are in new moon energy. Prompt number one, ready to go for the front door. Get your new moon spread done. Um, post it and share with me. See, let me show, see your decks and things. We've done it with the True Sidereal um, new moon, which would be in Virgo spread. But you can obviously use the new moon for um, Scorpio if you have them or just any old new moon spread that isn't specific to a placement in the sky. You can use that and then just show us what you're doing. Um, use the hashtag, hashtag SOTW 2024, hashtag front door. So I know what prompt you're doing. Um, and that'd be great. Love to see your decks and things, see you sharing, see what you think is coming up. Um, and this is the one to Abundant Life tarot so i used the diary of skeleton i can't find that deck he's done a runner um and so i have the prompts there as you can see so you can screenshot that if you want to um, and use that and then i did my spread and answer my questions here so lots of cards it was quite interesting here is my crown chakra spread with the deck that I use, Shimmering Veil from Silicon Way. That one was really interesting. And obviously I did that on screen anyway, so you could see that one. And then we did the, um, as I said, the Chakra Work overall. And this was one that kind of, I think the pair of them were hinting at um, possibly <laughs> perimenopause, menopause issues. And um, yeah, I was just like, all right, we just have to embrace this now. And I did do an observing my fear of death. This one I've been moving forward since um, the loss of my gran, or my nan, sorry. Um, and I have actually done it because I felt like it was the right time to do it. And I've used Les Vampire's Oracle for this one. So it's um, a nice, different way of using my decks. And then I have my memory page because I went out. We had the martini, porn star martini tree for Andy's birthday, which was great. Um, and cinnamon rolls and ooh, what were they naughty plats basically they had um like a car not caramel something like honey they've got gooey stuff in the middle of them they were very exceptionally sickly sweet but the cinnamon rolls i love cinnamon rolls and cinnamon bread from ikea um did you follow along for the hashtag ancestors work October by Carrie Mystical Musings. So she did um, 
series of four videos where she talked you through processes and things and gave you spreads and prompts. So I've got the spreads. I managed to sit and type out the spreads so I had them. So I've got those. I've popped them in here for when I want to use them to work with. And she had some really interesting stuff that she did, like um, building energy circles and stuff. That was amazing. So that's what I've done. So I've managed to jot down the notes that I want and um, get me going. I need to find decks and things to work with because the way she explained about working with decks was really quite um, fascinating too, like another eye-opening way to use your decks, which is why I love doing these types of things. And then here we are. Here is my cover page for Seasons of the Witch, designed by the fabulous Amethyst Ascension, of course, because she's the digital general queen. Um, but yeah, here's the front page that she created, um, which I will be using for probably all of my prompt videos so you can spot them when they come through the feed and it'll just have the hashtag for the prompt that I'm doing. Um, and yeah, how damn sexy is that cover page? She did this um, for YouTube and she put the Must Be the Seasons of the Witch by Alana Del Rey music to it. I just like, oh, it was just... Now, when I say sexy, I don't mean I fancy it. I, like, I use sexy in a different terminology. We use it as a kind of um, gorgeous, beautiful, sexy. Um, but it's like sensual, sexy type thing. Uh, I don't know why I feel I have to explain the English language to some people, but I know we all have different ways of using language. So um, I just want to make that clear. And then here we go. So I have done the front door. This is just uh, pictures from my other journal. Um, but here we go. So it's a divination and spirituality Facebook group. Answer the questions and you'll be allowed in. Don't answer questions. You've just deleted. Um, and then you have to start the process again. Discord, we have Divination of Spirituality. Now, I don't know. I think you have to come into the Facebook group to get to that. I'm not quite sure. Or Amethyst Ascension has both links on her channel. So you need to look her up to get into the Discord group. Uh, we have the Facebook files. So if you don't like digital journaling, I've put an A4 PDF into the Facebook group. And um, the, the digital journals are available on both mine and Amethyst Ascension's Kofi shops. Um, and... They are available for you to make a donation, to donate or donate, uh, to download or download for free if you wish. Um, but of course, there's a lot of work and things got into them and she's paid for a lot of the rights to use the images and things. So there we are. And we're into November. Right, so that's that one. So here we are, the Seasons of the Witch Journal. Look at this. So I've done a video explaining the journal. I've done prompt number one, so you can look those up in my playlist. I'll just put the playlist below. And anyone that does one, I'll just put their playlist in there as well. Um, so front door, prompt number one, here we go. So here's my um, spread. And I did do three oracle cards to go with, which I've dropped in the corner here and written down here. Um, and this was, as I said, the new moon in Virgo. So the, that spread is already in here. And then prompt two, the front door, which is for journaling. So I have journaled in here. And just for the purposes of showing it on video, I've turned it black so you can't read my writing because actually that became quite personal <laughs> after this happened on screen. So, um, yeah, so I've written that there. And I'm going to keep that there because I don't think it's for show for everyone's eyes. And we're going into prompt two. So I'm going to be doing that this weekend, the um, Mike Pie. So it's called the depression spread. But really, it's like what's causing you unnecessary woes. So um, the reason why the spread name is that is because it comes from the Love of Spreads deck. Let me just... There we go. So it comes from the Love of Spreads deck by Amethyst Ascension, again available um, via her Kofi shop, and it comes from Make Pelling Cards. And yeah, so the, the spread is already in here. So I've got it there. Are they the one? Depression spread, shadow spread... And then going to deity work, land spirits, things. So there are a bunch of different spreads in here. So that's the spread from here. But the questions are fairly pertinent. So what is the root of my energy? How do I feel heard? How do I feel seen? What am I, what am I seeing? How can I help myself focus and message from higher self? So if you take off the top bit, it's actually a really good one for um, working out what's causing your necessary worries. So um, I know some people can be very literal in their terms, so it doesn't mean you're depressed. Um, it's just another way of looking at the world around you. Um, so that's that deck. And then you've got your page there for creating positive affirmations and things. So that'd be interesting to do. I like to use decks for that. So I find using lots of Oracle decks and keywords, you can help to create that positive affirmation. So let's go back to my front 
page. So we go back there. So that's that one. And was there anything else? Oh, there we go. So if you come into the Facebook group for Amethyst Ascension, this is the PDF that you get from me, which is the same as the one I put out last year, except for I've altered the prompts and things, so they all match and correspond. And um, put the hashtag, so you've got the hashtag there and the hashtag for each prompt that um, I'd ask that you put in. And it's just spanned across two pages now. And as you know, it all comes from the Wise Witch's House, which is a drawing in the background on this prompt and there it is for you. So you can drop it into your journal if you wish. And that's the original prompts and things I originally drew out, but it's still a great thing to stick in color in, stick in your journal, you know, just for this time of year. And I've left you with page there to do some um, correspondences and decks that you've used while you're doing this spread. So that is available um, until February in the Facebook group. And then I'll take it down and I'll revamp it for next year. Anything else to say about these pages? There isn't. I haven't done anything else with the Deacon Journals. I'm going to stop back in. Back in. There we go. Look. <laughs> um, way back when. Yes, there we go. What does this tell me? This tells me that I am not active at these times of year. So. Um, that is just how it is. Okay, decks, 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 decks. So many decks. Let's just have a look at this one because this one's worth a quick mention in its own right. So I use it for a spread. But you can see how well they work together there. So you can use, as I say, you can use the front top words or you can use the bottom words. So we can have natural, past, prison or transgression. And you can focus on those. Or I sometimes come down here and I'll go here. So being authentic, real or organic, bitterness, grudge, refusal to let go and flaws, contradictions, mistake. So sometimes I find those words easier to um, key off of. I have immortal, a call for help and nobility, honour high standards and idealistics. Never had that card. In fact, it's probably the first time I've really seen it. <laughs> you know, once you flip through and you start working with the deck, it's funny what cards don't come through for you, isn't it? Love conquers all, burnt by the sun with rebellion. She's such a stroppy lucky vampire, isn't she? Yep, free will, jealousy and sacrifice. If we do this now, and what I'm going to just drop in the middle is a deck that goes really well with these. Because I did use it a couple of times. Some of you are very well aware of it. That's this one. So Tower of Vampires from Llewellyn. So we have Call of the Night, Four of Pentacles. And compassion. So I think these two read really, really well together. Thirst, craving, compulsion, obsession with the sun, and we have discipline. Reason, listen to advice, think clearly, intellect, nine of swords, and um, the may end, madness, ecstatic ritual, energy release. Primal with King of Wands and Ancient. I just realised I do swap between what I'm reading depending on how the picture hits the card. Isn't that interesting? Enlightenment with the world and knowledge. Perfectly together, right? I just can't get these things to pick up. It's cold. My hands are cold today. Um, the Monster Within with the Knight of Wands and Jealousy. <laughs> perfect. That is a perfect pairing to me. We all know what Knight of Wands can be like. Witness the Wheel of Fortune and Redemption. So we're going round and round in circles here. And last one. The Death Will Come, Page of Cups and Faith. That's perfect. That is perfect, actually, because 
I did the hashtag Cluedo Who Done It. I don't think I put that one on there, did I, for my VRs? Um, so I did that VR as well this month with this deck, and she was in it. She was one of my murder suspects. So that gets us through those ones. Just pop them away. So as I said, that is Les Vampires by um, artwork by Yasmin Beckett Griffiths and a uh, guidebook by Lucy Cavendish. Um, keywords and things. Then what would I have used this one with? I've used this one with a couple of decks. So let's just have, I'm just drop a couple either side of it and then you can see what it looks like. Um, what was the most, I think it was that one. So I was using the Gothica Revealed by Katie Osborne, or Kate Osborne, sorry. Um, this is Sandra Made Me Do It. That's Spirit of Avalon. See backs. And what I'll do is I'll put him, them in the middle, this one on one side. I'm going to pop another oracle over here. What should we pull? Just give him a little bitch. We'll do this one. I think they go quite nicely together. So this is just so I don't bore you with millions of decks going through showing you independently because. As I said, it was all kind of skewed and mixed up, so I was just like pulling out, throwing down. Um, I'm not reading them in any particular order either, just whatever it kind of said to me. So we have Intuition, King of Cups with um, Dr. Jekyll, who is Containment. And so they all kind of link really, don't they? So Intuition can be contained. King of Cups is containing his blood there. Look, he's got, he's got a item that he's containing his stuff in so and his vampire so you know i can see multiple sort of things in there we have grief with the knight of swords and addiction um and again i can see how they would link together depending on what i was reading transformation with seven of swords and attic with memories isn't she great Crystals and Herbs, Two of Wands, and the Dagger for Penetrating. Reflection, Page of Wands, and Book of Shadows for Influence. And we have a book, and Reflection is very much in the same kind of vein, isn't it? So they, they have like a commonality sort of theme there. So that is probably enough of that deck. So let's put this one away. And let's see something else. Um, doo -doo -doo. As I said, it's been, been a weird one. It's hard to think, actually. So if we pull out Madame Wilhelmina. Monsters of the Macabre. Sunshine's coming out as well, of course. So we're probably going to cast Long Shadows here. So let's do this. Journey with Seven of Coins and Passage of Time. <laughs> That's quite good. Passage of Time, being patient. Journey, pathways. Rebirth, Five of Cups and Opportunity. So instead of dwelling in it, look for the opportunity. You need to come out of this in order to move forwards. See all that movement. Uh, divination with the Hermit and Purity. What is he doing? He's blowing up bubbles with skulls in. And altar, hermit, chalice. So if I swap this one off a second for this one. Earth and Bone by um, Syrian Shadow. I haven't been using the guidebooks, just the keywords. So. running out of space beside me. So let's just do this a second. Just, I always feel like I need to kind of get the feeling going. Protection, the magician, conflict and competition with oppressors and the beast. 
Mischief with Wheel of Fortune and the pack in a work. Coming of Winter with the Eight of Wands and the Shadow. So coming into that dark spell, it's coming in fast as well. So yeah, next deck. So I reuse this one quite a bit. So this is Lilith and the Machine. Coming winter cups. Sorry, let me just do that. <laughs> Underworld, King of Swords, Heart. Owl, Star, and Warrior. Oops, this is. Two of Cups with our Witch and Wayfarer. The Veil with our Six of Coins and the Stand, Courage, Determination, Fearlessness. So this one. That's that papery cardstock sound one. Sorry about the noise. And then unfinished business. Did I use all of those to get? Yeah, I did. I kept these ones pretty much together. I'm just trying to make sure it's reasonable. All Hallows Eve, Nine of Pentacles, and the Visionary. Spider with the Five of Wands and our Trinity. And we have Roots with Ancestry Legacy. And then go and pop this one down. More red, more red edges. Just another great one to be using. So black heliwall with the emperor. And the nest, Poison Ivy, Knight of Wands and Fate, so Psychic Vampire. So of course this one I'm only using for the wordings, not the to make tinctures because you wouldn't make tinctures out of these things because hence the reason it's called Deadly Apothecary. Um, so this is more about the energy of the plant and um, its kind of meanings for those who are unfamiliar with it. So we have Mandrake with Obsession, we have the Moon and we have Apprentice, Higher Education, Belief and Wisdom. So they do um, fit in neatly together. And then I had a couple of other decks, so let me get those ones. You can see what I mean by it being a bit of a weird month for me with regards to what I was pulling. Um, what else did I pull next to these? Oh, the macabre tarot. Let me get that one out. Oh, excuse me. Just throwing stuff around over here. And we have plenty of shadows coming in. I'll do that, maybe. Typical. It's winter sun, isn't it? So when it comes in low in the sky, I can't do anything about it. You just have to work with. Okay. This one, all of these have got such great um, sound. Terrible way of displaying it, but they've all got that. My favourite sound. So, Hemlock, Water Drop, drop Wart, um, Trust That Feeling, Five of Bones, and Transformation with Ascension, so Transformation and Cycle and Beginnings. Um, the Bainbury, just ask, Two of Bones, 
because we're balancing. And then we have burrows, exhaustion, questioning, motivations, and realignment. Six crystals with Madonna Lily and Faith, Hope, and Rejuvenation. And then we moved on to doing something completely different with these, which I definitely didn't think ahead for. Showing. Let me just um, attempt to get everything out of the way here. Because I was then doing... that looked a bit more like this. Where did I put the other deck? There it is. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. So I was then doing like this for my, <laughs> my multi-reading because, like I say, I just can't do one things by halves. For the first time in my life, I don't want to put my cards because I've got so many out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we started doing this, as I say. Just to give you an idea of what they all look like together. Um, and that was just simply because things felt a bit weird and I wasn't really... I don't know. I, I don't want to say I wasn't focused. I don't think that's what the problem here was. It was just more a case of this is what felt right. And I decided not to question or set the practice in stone because what feels right to me is um, the right thing to be doing. And I found this one also worked really, really well with all of these cards. So and this one, sorry, is um, the one by Duck Soup. So Trick or Tarot. So this has got some great um, nostalgic images in it. Can we see everything on screen properly is the question. Um, so what have we got here? Frog with Enchanter, Lake, uh, Stinging Nettle, Rethinking Restrictions. And then we have the Ace of Swords with the Queen of Wands. Let me know what you think about this. And um, do you have any of these? And do you use them? Because I use this one all year round, and I'll prob I probably use all three of these all year round. This one's probably more going to be dark end of the year. I don't know that I'll use it a lot, but um, it's definitely a cool one to have. I mean, it's just very artistically gothic, isn't it? It fits, fits the season. I think the images in this are just so quirky and cool. So there we go, there's our trick or tarot. Um, so what we've got to finish out here, we have Henbane, Away with the Fire, Coming of Winter, Prudence, Self-Assurance, Integrity, Clear-Mindedness, Frankenstein, the Villain, and then we have the Tower of Destruction with the Seven of Wands. So there is something hidden in the uh, depths of this reading. Um, there's definitely something happening in there. Right, that's the Trick or Tarot by Duck Sue. And I have one other deck that came in, which I think I showed you all anyway, you know about it. It came in in September or August. August, I think, might have arrived in August. And I showed it in September, so you're all ready in case you wanted it, which is the Crooked Way Tarot, another one from Duck Sue. And I have written in here, um, Skulls of Cups, Sticks of Wands, Pins of Swords, Pentacles of Pentacles, and then King is the Master, Queen is the Mistress, Knight and Page. Um, just helps to remember what they all are. So I don't need to pull out, because I don't need the guidebook for this. Um, just a little more note on whom and what's going on where. So it's the backs to these ones. So thoroughly enjoyed working with these as well. We have Thorn Apple, Embrace Your Weirdness. Mischief, the Sorcerer, with our Folly of Deception. And then we actually have, look, here we have the Magician, the Illusionist, Uncle Mordred, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So nicely 
mad. What do we have here? Let's take a look. So should we start in the middle and work our way out this time? We have our cousin Hedvig, the Knight of Pins. We have the Chorus Sisters, our Four of Sticks. So Four of Wands, Knight of Swords with Hemlock Psychic Protection. So we're into the mind. And we have Protection. Fate, Alignment, Decisive Moments, Opportunistic Events. Protection and that sort of goes together for me. And then we have the Gated Retreat with Gated Arch. So it's almost like a gate there. So there is a lot of protection energy coming in through that one, I would say. One more. Because I'm quite enjoying this setup here. <laughs> Probably the reason why I started doing it. Um, we have, so Grand Uncle, is that JD or ID? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's the Four of Skulls. So Four of Cups, Melvin, who is our Five of Pentacles. Then we have the Opium Poppy, Share Your Light. He's sharing his brain. They're stuck indoors. We have the Altar, Sacred Devotion, Worship and Deep Rising from the Ash, Waters You Keep. We have the Nest with Charity, Generosity and Gratitude. So that goes quite neatly here. And over here we have Isolation. So um, helping somebody come out of Isolation uh, four of skulls, bring them out of obviously that solitude as well. Um, sharing your light to help bring them out of isolation. Or asking somebody to share their light to help bring you out of isolation if you, you're the one that needs help. Rather than sitting behind the door. <clears throat> so, yeah. And then, because it doesn't stop there, because as you all know, why would I... <laughs> Why would I reduce myself to just a few of my collection at this time of year? Um, that just sounds ridiculous, but yeah, I've, I've realised doing this how many outrageous numbers of decks I probably actually own and um, the shame of not being able to get round to all of them. Not I'm ashamed, but it's just a shame for the decks on the shelf to not be appreciated and used on a more regular basis. Um, yeah. Don't think it stopped me buying more decks, though, of course. I would hate to anyone to worry <laughs> that that had happened. It hasn't. It's just I think you might start seeing more videos like this where I'm just throwing down decks and seeing what they do, really, um, rather than the focus of just the, this is my deck for the month. But the Sawain, Season of the Witch, I can't talk highly enough about this deck. It's the first one they did. It's probably the only one I actually need out of their entire collection. I, yeah. This one and the Mabel one, definitely. I don't feel I need the... What's the other one that I've got? Um, Beltane one, although I like it. It fits with it fits my practice and cycles, but um, I could quite easily just not have that one and just have these. Equally, I probably didn't need this one, but it's gorgeous. I like it. I think I probably did a lot more research on decks when I first started out than I do now. Now I just know when I like something and that it's probably going to work for me. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm probably more frivolous now than I was at the start of my collecting. Not realising what kind of collecting monster I might turn into. So we have the Memento Mori. And of course, you know I'm going to drop it next to her tarot deck that goes with. This one. Sorry about that sunshine. Hopefully that's okay for you. But yeah, so this one I use with the guidebook because um, I'm still not 100% familiar with the names of everything. So I don't, which, but I'm not using the back. So I'm not using the Lenormand guide. I'm using the front guide for 
just the brief words for each um, card on here if it didn't make much sense to me. So there we go, we have these two together which um, I think have been a must on a lot of people's lists looking around. And this mass market is thinner than this one. It feels not a lot in it, but definitely, definitely thinner. Um, I mean, it riffles okay, but I'm not a riffle shuffler, so that's not really a thing that I'm worried about. <laughs> yeah, so these ones, very my aesthetic. Have artwork like this around the house, so these are perfect. Just as something else to play with. Um, this is just the standard deck that I have that comes in the box. I don't have any of the expansions to it. There are a couple of expansions I would like, but they're not even available, so um, there are plenty in this deck, to be honest. You probably don't even need the expansions, but. You know, once a magpie, always a magpie. So those are my decks. Now, one deck arrived that I haven't used. It arrived a bit late, to be honest. Um, and there's another deck that I was hoping would have been here, which hasn't arrived, and that created the Kickstarter. And that's the Ghastly Lenormand, and the creator's absolutely gutted that it hasn't come in in time. Um, but, yeah, I don't think it's just for this season, just because it's called Ghastly Lenormand, I think it's going to be a great one for playing with. I can't block the light. I've tried to block the light out, I can't do it. It's not going to work, is it? <laughs> and then the last deck that came in, sorry about this, is the Gallery of Hallucinations by Patrick Valenza. Now, he started doing books. Look at this book. You get notes in the back. It's black and white. Look at these pages. I mean, I'm, I know he's been working on this for a long time. But yeah, so this is Felix Knack's Gallery of Hallucinations. It came with a couple of extra cards. I already have the Lament card anyways. Um, and then we've got this one with the square corners. Available from deviantmoon.com. I love this. Do you know that picture of the screen? The famous one in, um, oh, whatever gallery it is, art gallery. These remind me of that. I'll break it down quickly. So there's Felix. These are from Fenwood Asylum. He just double sided. That's Felix Art Studio. And then we have this is the extra card that came with the first edition. And then look at these. Yes, I love that one. Calling secret. Dismay, it's just that feeling about them, that kind of melty screen picture feeling. Moonlit Girl, Keeper, Clee, The Watchtower, look at that one. Be Gone, Witchcraft, Staircase, Convergence, The Night Drifter, Salvation. Morning, flood, Got stage fight here, delirium, our ghost law, ladies, <laughs> mingling. <laughs> so the humour is in here, his usual humour is in here, backfire, and the portal for the final card. Um, but yeah, so not, not a full walkthrough, but that is a good show of what's in there. But I do, and there's the backs on these ones. Um, so it's a slight difference from his normal stuff. But yeah, it's quite a cool looking deck. And it's nice to have the guidebook with it. And um, my guidebook has finally come through for my first edition, Zama Twins as well. Um, yeah, I need the guidebook for that. So that one's great because it's awkward. I haven't enough to print out. The PDF for that one, so it's nice to have the guidebook. So that was really um, a lovely thing that Patrick did to allow those of us that got first editions to have a guidebook because second editions came with a guidebook. So there we go. Um, crammed a lot in, didn't I? Let me know if you do the Seasons of the Witch. I would love to see you all on social media. Hashtag SOTW2024 and then the hashtag for the prompt that you're doing. Number one, front door for the new moon spread. 
So until next time, wishing you much love. Take care. Bye-bye.